Oh, welcome back to Vanderbilly.com. Uh, this is part two of a lesson on Paul McCartney's Too Many People. Uh, in this uh, section, we're going to cover the bridge and the bridge solo. So let's get started. Okay, the bridge chords um, are an A minor, just a regular A minor. Uh, an E minor, which is basically the same as a, a E minor, except that you're going to add the... The E note is now here at the second fret, so you just add that. Uh, this G chord that we've already looked at, and then the D chord with the in there. And you play it sort of palm muted. As a matter of fact, most of the chords in the song you'd probably want to play sort of palm mute, downstroke kind of thing. So uh, you, you get this sort of uh, this kind of feel to it. Uh, same G again uh, and then you go back into the into uh, okay uh, and that is uh, what you play the solo over um, so we'll look at that next okay the solo has a lot of big bends in it that's what kind of gives it its uh, distinctive sound uh, it goes like this <laughs> So we're starting on the uh, on the uh, D string at the seventh fret, and you sort of staccato do. That's uh, uh, try not to call all these out, but it's a uh, G string fifth. So um, G seven, G fifth, G seventh, and then you're going to bend up, back, and pull off. to the seventh fret of the uh, D string. So slowly. Okay, and then after that comes a slide up from the uh, B string fifth fret to the eighth fret. Come down on the uh, G string eighth fret. And then you you do another one of these same kind of uh, move where you're going to bend up um, the B string at the tenth fret, but what you're really trying to do is not just is, is bend it big time like that, not like this. So you're targeting uh, you know a full step bend. So, up, back, pull off, and hammer on to the um, G string at the 9th fret. Then down to the 7th fret, and back to the 9th. And then, you're going you're gonna to grab this uh, G string, I'm sorry, the B string at the 8th fret, and bend up and then comes the uh, kind of tricky part because you're going to reach over you're going to get this G string at the ninth fret and you got to bend that up and you're going to grab this um, E string at the 10th fret with your pinky. Then you let down uh, this bent note. And then you start over, you start the same kind of thing, but instead of starting at this um, 
uh, at the uh, seventh fret of the D string, you're going to slide up to that. So it's. <laughs> So up to that point, it's exactly the same, uh, other than the slide up. And at this point, it gets different because you're you're going to play. So one, two, three. And then you do this bend again, and then you do it a second time, and then the last time you're just bending up, but when you're doing that you still want this last uh, E string, um, 10th fret to be ringing, that's what uh, gives it the particular sound, so it's... Uh, and that's that's the solo.